the bipartisan group of senators proposal um, really rewards the high-tech industry and the agriculture industry. Both of these industries get immigrant workers they need and get them under a fast-track system. Children who were brought to the U.S. Um, illegally also um, win under this system. They also get a fast track um, into permanent residence. Who loses, however, is all the other immigrants. So we're used to thinking of immigrants as either very high tech or very low tech, but it turns out we have a lot of immigrants who dominate the construction industry, food services, other hotel and restaurant workers. All of these people um, can contribute a lot to America. They often work and then create businesses of their own. And we need a line, we need a way for those people to come to the U.S. legally important problem that the current proposal overlooks is that in the U.S. today, the majority of our immigrant workers come because they are f the family member of an American citizen. If you're not a family member, there is no line for you to apply for admission. The most promising aspect of the proposals are that they really focus on citizenship. Citizenship isn't just a reward that you give to immigrants. Citizenship is a way for immigrants to really commit to the U.S. and to build and contribute to a society. And what makes the U.S. different from other immigration countries is that we've always really encouraged citizenship. And so it's good to see that the current proposal continues to do that.